The biggest objection that I run into all the time in real estate sales is commission. It's always the 900 pound gorilla in the room. It's the elephant that nobody seems to know how to deal with. And what's interesting is the commission issue has been around since the beginning of time. Sellers have been shopping commissions long before any of us were in real estate. It's normal for a seller to want to ask, what am I paying? What am I getting in return for that? So when somebody asks you, will you cut your commission? The answer needs to be no. Any more questions? If they continue or persist, my answer is, you know, if I was that weak at protecting my own paycheck, how strong would I be at negotiating the sale price of my house? But more importantly, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, it's not how much I get paid. It's how much money you walk away with. Often I find, and I understand why you're asking the question, but often I find that sellers are asking the wrong question. People are so often concerned about commissions that they step over a dollar to save a dime. At the end of the day, the most important person in this relationship is you, not me. What I do need is the resources to be able to create the marketing strategies that is going to get the attention your property deserves. Keep in mind, when we get a lot of attention, we get a lot of views, and we get a lot of showings, we're going to end up with multiple offers. And when we end up with multiple offers, we'll end up with a bid-up situation. And I personally will be able to negotiate the sale of your price above market value. But that can't happen if I don't have the resources. The resources make it possible for me to use the strategies that are necessary to attract as many people as possible. So at the end of the day, it's not about how much I get paid, Mr. and Mrs. Seller. It's about how much you walk away with.